Hello there. Welcome to Christmas in July, and I'm your host Lisa. <laughs> Just trying something new. <laughs> Want to try all different kind of style for my YouTube. Keep things interested. Um. So today we are introducing new handmade watercolors from the states by Jean. And it's I think most of you. I'm going. Ju I'm just gonna talk to in my normal voice now because it's yeah, really hard to keep it up. All right. <laughs> so I think most of you who Follows handmade watercolors. Well, no, you lay watercolors. Um. Well, of course, because it's gorgeous, <laughs> and the owner she runs her business very, very organized. So she does um videos for uh process during. Like when she makes new colors, and she does color swatching, and、uh, both、um, white and black paper, um, and um, the way that she organizes her Instagram and her shop website, like um, and her shop on Etsy, it's all very, it's clear. You know what you are getting, and、um, you can see the color, and she does like little videos so you can see the shimmers and how the、uh, color shifting ones will change color, and it's amazing. And I was at first I was like, oh my god, it's so beautiful! I've got to have it. But most of the work that she shared was、um, hand lettering, so I was like. Okay, I'm going to learn hand lettering. <laughs> Plus, I mean, it's a watercolor. I'm sure I can include it in my, you know, usual drawings, and it's gonna be gorgeous. And it's going to change, like you know, colors shifting and everything. It's gonna be so cool. And anyway, you know. You know how girls are. We always find a way to persuade ourselves to <laughs> spend money on the things that we like, and I really like them. <laughs> so, yes. Um. So that was my little like internal, not at all struggle to pick this shop to share to share with you guys. And let's see what we have here. I have to pull the name out on my computer. One second. So, for dark cards, we have the Mermaid series dark card. Um, they do come in half pens, like the little sets. Well, bigger sets because there it's tough colors. Um, and I, I. I really, really, really want to go for it. I really, really do, but the shipping fee was really high,、um, especially shipped to、um, Asia. So I was like, oh, spending that money on shipping, I can buy more colors. So I settled for the dark card, but not to worry because,、um, oh. I was outside of the camera frame, and look at the thickness. It's a generous amount of paint on this, and we all know how. Like you know, a little bit goes a long way with watercolors. So I think this will give me a few nice paintings. Then. I'm going to effortlessly persuade myself to purchase the set next time. <laughs> yeah, we all know how it goes.、Um, and this is the G series dark card. Oh, where you look at that shimmer? Choo 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 choo. 
and excuse the the shadow of from the camera because in order to show off the shimmer I have to turn on the lights but you know light, lights causes shadows <laughs> no brainer all right and I'm so grateful because I the, the custom left me some unwrapping to do this time around so yay um you ha actually have to unwrap to feel like Christmas you know just saying okay let's open them up first then we will get to introducing them I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit so you guys can actually see what's going on and and I'm not outside the frame all the time all right I feel like we're back to pretty much all right and let's open <gasps> sorry that was really loud I didn't mean to gas so loudly oh look at them these babes are the let me find the name first one second new color shift and pearl color shifts can you see them sparkle do you want to build a painting from them maybe draw a snowman <laughs> wow well, i'm just so happy it's like christmas or maybe like using these colors to do a Christmas piece would be cool. <laughs> Start drawing my Christmas cards like in July. <laughs> oh, I know what this one is then. This is one of the ones I was like, no doubt I'm getting it. Don't even have to think about it. Do you know what it is? Do you? Do you? Let's <laughs> see. It's the fairy dust. <laughs> okay, I like. It's like, how can you not want to buy watercolors that's named fairy dust? I feel like another thing about handmade watercolors is that they have the most beautiful names, and it's just you know like. Okay, I think it's totally cheating to call your watercolors like unicorn, rainbows, or like princessy stuff. <laughs> you know, any of the cute names. It's just, it's like, how can you say no to that, right? It's so cute. Or food. If you name your watercolor like after food, that's totally cheating. It's like people cannot say no to that. I mean, if a watercolor that's called strawberry cupcake, how are you going to say to like no to that? You have to get it, right? Or let me just be me. But anyway, let's see it shimmer. Okay, so for the let's actually pull this out because this is not this is um the singles that I got so the fairy dust comes in this four I think there's there's like two sets of it that's called the other one is called fairy dust color shift or fairy color shift um, anyway I picked this one because Oh, the camera is just not picking up how pretty it is. If you can see firsthand, which means you have to buy it. <laughs> and it's really, really pretty. Okay. Another thing about Eule that I really, really like is that um, Jean replies super fast super detailed and 
so it's like really really helpful when you are trying to like make a decision or that you have a quick question to like ask her she replies super fast and um if there's a way to come up with a better solution she will help you find it so thank you jean and oh yeah this is not all <laughs> so um i was like you know when during my a little bit internal struggle because like the shipping fee was getting kind of expensive so i was like kind of like oh you know trying to decide how i should pick you know to make the most out of my purchase i lost my chance to get one of the um sets i think it's the h series and i was like oh not good but I was like, oh, well, it's my fault. I didn't learn from my last mistake with the paper cone. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to place the order. And then, and then I actually was really lucky to, um, yeah, because I just, I like how of, like often EU Lay updates their, um, their Instagram so I follow them when they have like new posts and I actually caught their um, 4th of July sale uh, like one day flash sale and then and I was like well no doubt I have to get the F set now there's no excuse it's just it's on sale <laughs> and then um, of course, you know, nobody stops at one, at least not me. And plus it's like, I mean, you are already paying, paying the shipping fee. You might as well get the most out of it. So I order a couple more and yeah. And so it's coming back. You will see more of this. Okay. So what else did I get? La Holo, hello. Rempo Holo, hello. And next level Holo. <gasps> I'm totally just showing off, sorry. <laughs> but will you look at that sparkle? Dun, 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 dun. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> and I got two um, sample ones. Thank you. These are gorgeous. Oh, they don't have names for it, but bing bing, bling bling. Alright, I'm I'm done playing <laughs> with them. Okay, I have to. I will unwrap these ones off camera because I'm super clumsy and I don't really want my clumsiness to be caught on camera <laughs> it's gonna take me a while plus like i want to try to um save the wrappings and then maybe stick um here so i don't have to redo the swatching <laughs> yeah all right so this guys i actually was looking for those like black papers to do to do the swatching i think it would look better that way but i had no luck the last time i was looking for it so uh but like i said she organized her um page like her website very well so it's very organized and if you what you do want to see it um you can also just find it on on her website and let's do quick swatching because i don't want to make my uh, dot card 
like super dirty. Yeah, my mom said it's totally weird that I like to play with watercolor, but I don't like them messy. But you do need to soak them a little bit. Sorry for the shadow because of course, once again, I put my water on my left side when I'm right-handed. I think, yeah, 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 okay. Let's do this real quick before my camera cuts me off, which I still need to figure out why it does that. But okay, hopefully that's enough. <gasps> Sorry, it sparkled. <gasps> oh my god, are you guys seeing this? I am not at all showing off my new colors, but seriously, you have to be wowed by it. It's just wow, that's so pretty. Oh, another thing that um, about watercolors that sparkled and always prepare another um like um a separate brush washed water thing to wash them off because otherwise everything sparkles yeah i had to learn in a hard way and then i realized why like most of the youtubers when they show um when they do use sparkle um watercolors that sparkle they always do it the last step yeah i learned it the hard way okay two more then i gotta go because even if i don't go my camera is going to cut me off do it really quickly and i'm going to show the sparkle and i'm totally rushing right now Okay, let's see sparkle.